Hello, back again with another one, and this time we are going to America. We are going to San Francisco, in fact, and we're going to a brewer, which um, I've noticed more of their beers are becoming available in the UK, and this brewer owns the trademark Steam Beer. Now, they first started brewing beers in 1896, and the term steam beer, it's quite an unusual thing. It's um, a practice of fermenting beers on, uh, well, this is where it came from. A practice of uh, fermenting beers on San Francisco rooftops because ice was not available to chill the wort. Instead, brewers let the cool, um, foggy conditions um, of the San Francisco to control the temp of the beer while it's fermenting and the steam was rising off this beer and they ended up calling it steam beer. Now whether or not the anchor, the brew I'm talking about, uh, still practice that method, I do not know. So the beer is from the Anchor Brewing Company in San Francisco and it is their steam beer. Lovely jubbly. Coming in at 4.8% ABV. So it's got a little narrative up here. Um, well, I can read it for you, because I think it might repeat what I've just told you about it anyway. Anchor Steam brand beer derives its unusual name from the 19th century when steam seems to have been a nickname of beer brewed on the west coast of America under primitive conditions without ice. The word steam may have referred to the pressure of natural carbonation developing in the beers. So obviously when it was being fermented, the steam was rising off because of the carbonation. Today, the brewing method of those days are a mystery and for many de decades, Anchor alone used the quaint name steam for its unique beer. So, um, today Anchor is one of the smallest and most traditional breweries in the world. San Francisco's famous Anchor Steam brand beer is unique for our brewing process and evolved over many decades and is like no other in the world. Um, Anchor Steam brand beer is virtually handmade with an exceptional respect for the ancient art of brewing. The deep amber colour, the thick creamy head uh, and the rich flavour testify to our traditional brewing methods. So it's got a bit of a pedigree this beer. I didn't realise how much a pedigree it has. So, but I've, I've noticed a lot of places are starting to do this beer. I think Tesco's have got it in now. M&S have got it in. Um, and I think they're doing a lager, Liberty. I think it's Liberty Ale. I'm not too sure. Anyway, let's crack her open. What we do is a beautiful little crown with the old um, anchor on. There you go, boys and girls. And it's actually got a date in as well. Um, and if you can see that, it's quite interesting. First time I've ever seen something like that on the inside. It's got a year, and it's got, got kind of like it says first balloon ascension. Let me know in the comments what that was that what that is going by. But it's quite smart, though, isn't it? So let's see if we will get from the net. And it's quite herbal. It's mmm. It's quite herbal. There might be hints of time a bit of rocket maybe maybe even a bit of mint as well it does have a very very nice herbal aroma about this one so let's uh, pour out she's coming out rather nice beautiful looking beer nice beautiful head on her ah. It's not bottle conditioned as far as I'm concerned, but nice pockets of carbonation bubbling up, nice head. It's a head's dissipating down a bit. It's a little bit cloudy looking, but it's got a really nice glow to this one as well. Again, a little bit more of a metallic feel there, coppery. The herbs have just gone back into the background a bit. Maybe a hint of malts coming through more than the herbs. But it does it does smell really really nice. So cheers everybody, I'm gonna go in. Hmm. First thing hits you of these herbs. 
kind of like I said, there's time. Getting some sort of like a time there. Rocket even, and maybe a little bit of rosemary chucked in. And there is a little mintiness coming through as well. Just going to... Slightly dry on the palette, but I could see this being quite sessionable in a way. Um, as far as um, food pairing goes, I think it would go with, with a light meal, like a pasta dish even. Um, but it's a nice tasting beer, nice tasting beer. Um, the aftertaste is still that herbness there still that herbness coming through and it's quite sweet as well um, it is a really really nice beer you know it's, it's a great beer relatively cheap as well I think I think it's only about £1.50 so it's you know it's worth getting and trying anyway and um, Anchor Steam beer boys and girls nice beer Real nice beer. There's the back side. Check it out. Get down to your local MS. I think they're doing with six packs as well. Nice beer. Thanks for watching this one. Stick yet stick all your comments in the comments. Murder me in the comments. And I'll see you again on my next one. Cheers.